Hello friends! I hope that you've been well. I have a very fun vlog for you today. If you happen to be new here, my name is Tina. I'm also known as I'm a Wonder on the internet and I am a full-time artist and creator based in Toronto. I live alone and I have my studio space within my apartment and now that I am seeing the first snow today, I'm very very thankful to be able to work from home. <laughs> so yeah, I got up to a lot in the past little couple months. I This vlog contains mostly footage from September, October, and then a little bit of November. I went to a lot of concerts, which was very exciting. Also celebrated my birthday on October 3rd. Got up to some Halloween stuff. Uh, October is my favorite time of the year. And I also did some thrift shopping. So I do a little try on thrift haul in this vlog. And of course, as always, lots of painting footage and some Patreon stuff. I just started a new tier on my Patreon, which is a podcast. So if you are into my kind of long form videos of me just chatting and, you know, keeping you company in the background, that might be worth checking out. And I also reopened my online shop. So if you've been waiting on that, my online shop is now open. So feel free to pop over there when you're done watching this vlog. And yeah, I hope that you enjoy the videos. Uh, it's a little bit long, so definitely grab a snack, drink, sketchbook, whatever, and uh, let me keep you company for the next 40 minutes or so. But yeah, so hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end. Hello, voiceover Tina here. So at the end of every month, I work on the spread for my bullet journal. And while I technically do have a video on my Patreon page detailing my bullet journal spread layout, I suppose, it is so bare bones that it isn't really even worth kind of hashing out in detail again. It really just details the month of things that I need to do. So I usually make a little to-do list of Patreon stuff, YouTube sponsorships that I need to do, and then I do a whole monthly spread here. I don't do weekly because I'm just not structured enough to be able to task out each day like that. So I just write down any major deadlines that are very, very strict for that day. So usually sponsorship deadlines. And then I also write down like personal plans or appointments in the monthly spread as well. And yeah, that is my very, very bare bones bullet journal, which I do use fun colors and highlighting for just because why not? I don't do this every day, but I do try to get a little bit of warm up sketching when I can or if I'm in the mood for it. So here I'm using my Woodless color pencils and a neon Prismacolor color pencil to just work on a little portrait study here. And I really, really enjoy these Woodless color pencils. I don't know what it is. They're just very satisfying to use. I don't use them super often, but yeah, I, I find them really fun for studies like this. If you saw my last studio vlog, you'll probably had seen that I got these colorful containers from Amazon to organize my supplies because I have a lot of them 
and I just want to try and be a little bit more organized, a little bit more efficient with my my stuff. So here I'm just organizing my various inks, watercolors, and gouaches into these little containers that are really, really cute colors. And that way it will be easier to grab them, hopefully. <laughs> If you're interested in these containers, I'll link them into the description if you want to grab them for yourself. I have some of them used for my art supplies and then I actually use some of them for my makeup, my makeup supplies, <laughs> my makeup items in my bedroom as well. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, my shop is open. So if you are a BTS fan or have some BTS fans in your life, I have these really, really cute BTS BT21 charms in the shop. I of course have all of my prints and original content as well, not just BTS stuff, but I wanted to show them off because I think they're so freaking cute. <laughs> Uh, September, which honestly was basically summertime catch up when you are like, oh shoot, summer is almost over. We got to do all the summery things before the, the weather gets cold again. So yeah, this is us going to the c &E, which was super busy. And then probably the highlight of my entire year was going to see 17. We had such an amazing time. We were just amazed by how many people showed up so early and also probably the most well-dressed group of people I have ever seen in my life and there was this thing at the beginning called I think they call it play dance where they play a song and then when people know the choreo they jump in and do the choreography and so we actually couldn't hear them because we were like in the building just watching from above but it was fun to try and guess the song just based off of the choreo and because I'm totally shameless and seriously just the show was so amazing, I'm going to show you a lot of footage from the concert because the visuals, the choreo, the energy, it's all just, it was so hard to narrow it down footage wise because everything was just chef's kiss. I honestly had the absolute best time of my life. We were so lucky that all 13 boys were able to attend and perform this show because there was a few of them that got sick throughout the tour. So we got so lucky and the energy is insane, not only from the 17 boys, but also from the audience. It is something I have never experienced before in my life. And it was incredible. I want to relive this evening several times. And then on our way home, we actually just, we happened to stumble upon this sugarcane drink stand, which was delicious. And there was uh, a little installation here for a festival. It was very, very cute on our way back home. <laughs> and then I also got to see My Chemical Romance. It was incredible. And 
I also got to see the Trixie and Katya show live, which was incredible. I, of course, couldn't actually film anything. So this is just them saying their little bows and thank yous at the end. My friend, unfortunately, was leaving and moving out of the province, so we decided to really splurge and get all dressed up and go out to a really nice restaurant as a little kind of goodbye dinner, and we were doing the absolute most with our outfits and photos and video ops. It was, it was so cute, though. I would like to take a quick moment to thank today's sponsor, FlexiSpot. For those of you who have been with my channel for a while, you'll know that I rave about having a standing desk. Previously, I used to experience a lot of lower back pains from sitting at my desk for so long. And now that I can have an option to stand and sit, I've noticed that I don't experience that lower back pain anymore, which is amazing. And I really love that this particular desk the FlexiSpot Pro Standing Desk E7 has an, a USB port so that I can charge my phone or my iPad right next to me, which is perfect. And also this version has really good cable management, which is really huge for me because I hate having to deal with cables everywhere. If you don't need a desk, they also have the Home Office Desk Bike V9, which is also a great way for me to get my body moving, especially now that we are starting to enter winter season when I likely won't be going out as much. So if you're interested, FlexiSpot is having their Black Friday sale right now, up to 50% off. And if you're the first three to complete checkout at selected time, you get your order free. And I will have all of the details in the description down below. Here I am working on the September Patreon sticker reward. And for this one, I am working in my Arteza watercolor sketchbook. I've been trying to fill up all of the kind of empty spots or pages that are sort of dispersed throughout the sketchbook since I don't actually work in it perfectly chronologically anymore. And yeah, I, what was the month? September, right? The theme was, oh, serpents and snakes. And I also wanted to take this opportunity to use my Pebio liquid watercolors again because I hadn't used them in a really long time. And if you don't know, these are not light fast or they're not archival, I believe. And so they best function for just casual things in my sketchbook slash things that I don't intend to sell the original of because there is a likelihood that they will fade over time. So yeah, they are quite interesting. They behave very, the, the way that they absorb into the paper reminds me of alcohol markers in a way. I think it's a combination of the liquid watercolor, but also this Arteza watercolor sketchbook paper. I have expressed this many times before, but to be honest, the paper in this sketchbook is not my favorite. So I think moving forward, I will not use this combination again, but I do find that I was able to salvage this fairly well with colored pencils on top. And I actually really ended up liking the outcome in the end with the, the, the color pencil textures and just the variation in colors on the, the skin. But yeah, if you are interested in my Patreon page, I send out a print, a little postcard, as well as a sticker every month. And the artwork is always changing. And I also submit little mood boards at the end of the month so that people know what kind of theme and vibe is going to be in the artwork and i've also encouraged people to use those mood boards for inspiration for their own artwork if they want to since i always get a lot of questions about where i get inspiration from so i think that's a nice little way of having a mood board or like a launching point for you if you are stuck on what you want to draw that day 
I also have exclusive videos. I have sketchbook pages that I don't post anywhere else. I also include wallpapers for people to use over on my Patreon page. So there are lots of extra goodies over there if you're interested and there's multiple different types of tiers for you to check out depending on you know what is in your price range so thank you so much to all my patrons who are supporting me over there because that allows me to do what I do and then while that painting was drying I actually headed over to pack the previous month's rewards because your girl likes to multitask and yeah this month I decided instead of one big sticker I wanted to do three little stickers which I thought were really cute and I thought they fit the theme of this artwork and yeah I personally really like having a variety of sizes and types of stickers I think these little stickers are great for filling in spaces of like collages on your like sketchbook page or anything like that and then after the layer was dry and I went in with all the color pencil, I went ahead and did the final kind of stage of the artwork, which is the line art, which of course is very satisfying and really just finishes off the illustration quite nicely. And yeah, then I scanned the piece and send it off to the manufacturer and then it gets printed into a sticker. And this one had some holographic elements on it which was very fun this is audible simon and schuster audio presents i'm glad my mom died by jeanette mccurdy read by the author It's strange how we always give big news to loved ones in a coma, as if a coma is just a thing that happens from a lack of something to be excited about in your life. Mom is in the ICU at the hospital. The doctor told us she has 48 hours to live. I'm standing around mom's tiny comatose body. As per tradition, I celebrated my 31st birthday with some karaoke, and this time I gave my friends the dress code of it's your villain era, so the vibes were immaculate. On our way over to hit up some thrift stores in the West End, we actually happened to stumble upon this little art market. It was super cute and I actually picked up a couple of goodies that I can't share because they're going to be holiday gifts for a friend. And then we hit up this really, really beautiful one called Black Diamond Vintage. I unfortunately didn't pick up anything from this specific spot, but I just loved all of the, like, the decor interior and they had some really, really cool pieces. Unfortunately, didn't get anything that day, but I'm sure I'll be back and hopefully find some goodies that work for me. Oh my God, you're so cute. Holy shit, are you gonna come? Am I following you? All right. Well, it was nice meeting you, kitty. Wanted to enjoy the autumn vibes and weather so of course went on a little walk with my friend and his dog moon it was very sweet and very wholesome
Hello friends, it's been quite a while since I've done any vlogging. I thought that I'd come in and kind of take you through the process of me working on my next spread for my monthly favorites. So in my bullet journal, I write down some of the things that I enjoyed throughout the month. So you can see I wrote down a couple of different things and I will pick the highlights that like definitely definitely were my favorites and then try and like see what would fit and sometimes i try to see if certain things would go together not always works in that way but in any case and i like to try and have a mix of like people and or characters and then like objects just to like make the spread have some variety but anyway so let's get get into it So I'm pretty much finished the sketch here, Trixie and Katya definitely being, you know, the stars of this spread. So yeah, I'll have this ready to go for the live stream that I'm going to do on Friday. And by the time that this video is out, I'm sure the live stream has gone up by now and is probably available to watch if you missed it. And now I'm going to spend the day working on my mythical pinup illustration series. Unfortunately, I got an extra, an extremely late start to it all, but, and I am making some, finally, finally making some progress on the sketch here of the mummy. I think I should be able to have the sketch finalized by today and hopefully get it transferred to the watercolor paper and start working on this thing finally. So here I am using my light pad to trace the digital sketch onto my watercolor paper. And then of course I tape that down to a masonite board so that it doesn't warp while I'm painting. And I used mostly Daniel Smith watercolors for this piece. I think I might've used a little bit of gouache as well. Honestly, I don't remember, but yeah, I'm like fairly pleased with how this turned out. It felt good to finally work on an illustration that was a little bit more involved. I really want to get back to doing more illustrations like this or illustrations that are just more involved in general. But unfortunately, I just seem to have a really hard time figuring out how to work it into my schedule slash find the motivation to do this. It's so bizarre because when I look at this, I'm like, I'm capable of doing it and yet it's so hard to actually pull up my bootstraps and commit. So maybe the cold weather kind of coming coming in uh, winter wise will maybe force me to hunker down and actually get some illustrations more out like this. Hello, it's been quite a long time since I think I've spoken on camera for the vlog. I've just been kind of busy and haven't been really in a vlogging mindset, I guess. And yeah, this is a very realistic look into what my desk typically looks like. Oftentimes when I'm vlogging, I try to tidy up a little bit, but you know what, we're we're keeping it real today. But yeah, I've got my tea here. Apologies if you can hear all the construction noises. That's just my life. It is October 26th and I am currently going to be working on a new 
sticker reward for the month of November for my Patreon page. And what is particularly exciting about this is I am adding a new tier to my Patreon page. So for those of you who don't know, I currently have four tiers right now. I have the Rose Quartz, the Amethyst, Sapphire, and Emerald. And so I'm going to be working on the artwork on this little round watercolor paper. This is by Paul Rubens. Here's a previous sticker design that I did for last year's October one, which was of course like a little vampire theme. So here I am working on the tier artwork, which will also function as the Patreon sticker for the month of November. You still have until the end of November to sign up if you want to receive this cute little artwork as a sticker. And yeah, the first podcast is already up on my channel or on my Patreon page, I should say. And it's pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. I am really enjoying the idea of doing a podcast because right now my Patreon exclusive videos have been mostly focused on just explaining the process of any given artwork that I'm working on for the video. And I'm kind of going into detail about mixing the colors and the paints and my color choices and those kinds of things, which is great and kind of leans more educational. But I also want to still have some kind of avenue of getting a little bit more personal and just being a little bit more casual as a way to connect with my audience in, yeah, just like a more personal way. And so, yeah, I've opened the floor to my patrons to give me topics and questions for upcoming podcast and some of the topics that have come in already are to touch on advice for artist alleys which I think will be very valuable for them. Another one was to go into a little bit detail of my childhood and how that upbringing I guess correlates to the artwork that I make since a lot of my content I've talked about my teenage years but not about my kind of youth so I think that'll be a really fun video to, or not video, another kind of fun topic to cover in a podcast. So yeah, the podcast here is $3 if you're interested. So I'm going to uh, have a lot of fun just being more candid, being maybe a little more vulnerable. We'll see. Hello friends, it is October 29th and as I would have mentioned earlier, I wanted to do a little show off of some of the fun vintage finds that I've gotten recently. So this is over the course of the past month or so and they were not all in the one in the same place. But yeah, so um, this is this really, really cute denim overalls and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this one. I think the little patch here in the little details are really, really cute. And then I'm also wearing this really fun NASA t-shirt. This is technically not vintage, but I did pick it up at a Kensington Market vintage shop. I don't remember what it was called, but I really love it. It has lots of fun details, which I'll show uh, in like a B-roll, I guess, cause it's got stuff on the back and the, the whole print on the front is really, really cool. And next we have this super cute plaid dress. I absolutely love this thing. I love the colors and it feels very fall, winter appropriate. And then also with my red beret and then paired with this coat. Oh my gosh, isn't it so fun? Uh, so this is also something that I acquired very recently. Um, this coat is not vintage but it's still technically secondhand, just out of Chris's closet as opposed to from a shop. So thanks, Chris. Next up is this super fun 80s-tastic Polaris ski jacket. I am obsessed with the checkered pattern and just how fantastically 80s it is. And then there's this very nice little number, this blazer, which is also from the 80s apparently. Um, we had just happened to stumble upon um, 
hippies vintage market, I think it's called. Anyway, we didn't know about it. We just like serendipitously came upon it like last second and I managed to snag this um, right as they were basically closing. Oh my God, and this blazer with the beret too. What? So okay, and then the last thing I wanted to show off, it's technically not vintage or secondhand, but we happened to pop into the store called Daughter, I believe. And it's like an independently run uh, little boutique. And I tried on this dress and I just fell in love and it was on sale. So how could I resist? Look at it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And I don't know exactly where I'm going to wear this thing, but I tend to be a little extra and a little overdressed to any given thing that I do. So I'm sure I'll just bust this out for brunch or something. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that was my little haul and probably look forward to more of them because I've been really enjoying all these vintage shopping escapades. And uh, yeah, for today, I have quite an exciting day. I am about to head over to this BTS Halloween bubble tea pop-up thing. And then I am going to a BTS Halloween party, which amazing. morning friends it is november 7th i am going super candid these days i have a pimple on my chin and i've got my <laughs> bangs curled wow isn't it so funny how curled they are initially it reminds me of selena <laughs> they do like flatten out over a little bit. So anyway, I thought that i would pop in and vlog here with you a little bit because I think I am going to attempt to revive my Tumblr. I've been seeing a lot of other artists sort of sharing that they are reviving their old Tumblrs because as we know, Instagram is not really performing the way that a lot of us are used to. And I don't know exactly the details, but it sounds like Twitter is not ideal either. I don't have a Twitter or I don't use Twitter, so I have no idea what's going on over there. But yeah, I thought my previous handle was Tina's Dash Art. And this was like well prior to me adopting the I'm a Wonder brand, I suppose. And so unfortunately, I'm a Wonder as a username is already taken by somebody else, which is a pain for me. So, I am opting for I'm a Wonder Art, but yeah, it's uh, it'll be an interesting little venture. We'll see if it goes anywhere. <laughs> and then I've got my got my coffee with my Cheshire Cat mug, and I am currently finishing up packing the rest of my Patreon rewards. Last night I focused on all of the emerald tier rewards, which is the print and sticker. So these are all packed. I watched uh, Enola Holmes 2 while I packed these. Very fun movie. I think y'all would have seen it in a previous video already, but it's this, it's the pastel witchy girls, which I think look really cute. So now I am working on packing up the rewards that are just the print. So I have them already stamped and labeled here. And then I can just quickly add in all of the prints and then they're ready to go out. Yesterday I did my monthly live stream on YouTube where I drew my monthly favorites and it was so much fun. I mean, I always have fun with my live streams, but yesterday was particularly fun. I don't know 
why it just I felt like the chat was particularly active and we were just having a blast talking about Halloween plans and movies and someone had mentioned that they dressed up as Troy Bolton from High School Musical for Halloween and I was like hold on I have to step away for some very important business and I showed them my mint condition Troy Bolton like doll Barbie doll uh, that my friend like gifted to me as a joke when I was in high school and I somehow still had it just like chilling in my mom's basement for years and years and years so anyway it was it was so funny so yeah that'll it'll be a pretty pretty chill day I think today which is fine since I technically worked yesterday on the Sunday, so I think it's okay to have a chill Monday before the concert. I've been continuing to downsize my art supply collection because I don't use all of them. And so I might as well just give them away for free so that they can get some love from somebody else. And so since some of these supplies have been used or was given to me for free, I just list them up as $0 on my shop and then people just have to pay for the shipping at this point I think all of my patrons have snatched up all of the listings for future reference every single tier on my patreon they get early access and a discount to my online shop I was photographing and going through all of these different pads of paper that I want to list in my shop and I found in one of the pads here, I had started using a few of the sheets, but I find that for my marker illustrations, I prefer them just in a sketchbook. So I pulled out my drawings that I had in the pad and will give that away. And I wanted to show this off. I have a video on it. It was like the six fan arts challenge, I suppose. And so these were the portraits that I did and it's, really funny looking at this because one, I feel like I have really improved my marker and color pencil approach significantly since doing this. And Sojin here, he's a character from the webtoon True Beauty. I will admit I haven't really been keeping up with that webtoon anymore, but I remember distinctly getting a few comments on this video of people telling me that my drawing of him looked like Hyunjin from Stray Kids. And at that point in time, when I made this video, I was not familiar with Stray Kids at all. And I wasn't quite as immersed in K-pop. So I remembered people telling me and I was like curious. So I looked Hyunjin up and I was like, oh wow, it does kind of look like him. And, uh, and then Kind of at some point i finally actually checked out stray kids i watched god's menu that was the first music video i watched and now i'm a big fan of stray kids so it's just it's funny to to see to see that and kind of relive that little moment but yeah i've been wanting to do another six fan arts video i am just so many things that i want to do but not enough time unfortunately <laughs> And that is the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and if you wanna support me in any way, my Patreon and my shop will be linked in the description. I know that not everyone has the means to support me monetarily. So even just watching this video all the way to the end means a lot to me, so thank you. And I hope that I was a good company while you watched this video. So I hope that you all have an amazing day or evening wherever you're at, and I will catch you next time. Bye.